Hive. Today, I am going to be unboxing a $500 art supply mystery box from the brand Culture Hustle. Now, if you've never heard of Culture Hustle before, they are a really cool company that specializes in really interesting and unique art supplies. They have made a number of art supplies that have gone absolutely viral. Some of these products include Black 3.0, the darkest paint in existence, white 2.0, the lightest paint in existence, and the liquid mirror in a bottle, which was super cool because you could basically turn any product into a mirror. So when I heard that they were coming out with mystery art supply boxes, which contain stuff that has never been seen before, I knew I had to get one pronto. Good thing I got this one when I did because looking on the website, it's already completely sold out. I think we can all agree here that $557 is a lot of cheddar for an art box. So trust me, if I feel like I ain't getting my money's worth, you're gonna hear it from me. So without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. The first thing that I gotta say is that the packaging is très magnifique. The boxes, they line up to say Punky Prodigy, which is the tier that I got. And all three boxes, they stack up into different faces and you can make like different combinations, which I think is absolutely awesome. Ooh, okay. As you can see, this paint looks incredibly similar to another famous fashion brand, <coughs> Calvin Klein. Culture Hustle is a company made by artists for artists, and they believe that it's unfair that certain companies can trademark colors and basically prevent any other artist from using those colors. So a really cool thing that Culture Hustle does is that they will make an almost exact copy of the copyrighted color, except just slightly, slightly different. So technically it's still legal to use. And that basically allows anybody to be able to use the color, which I love that. I think that's absolutely baller. And this color in particular is International Klein Blue, trademarked by French artist Yves Klein. And for some reason, it also came with this empty bottle of absolutely nothing. Next up we have, oh my God, is this what I think it is? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh my God. This is one liter of the brightest paint in the world. I have reviewed this in the past and it's not as impressive as the black 3.0. It's only slightly brighter than just like an everyday regular paint that you would get. And this large one cost 139 bucks. So yeah, hopefully I can figure out what to do with this amount of white. And lastly, this first box comes with the world's coloriest watercolors. Uh, this is a watercolor palette that has 36 colors. And surprisingly, the packaging of this is very plain. Usually Culture Hustle throws their entire back into the packaging. So it's interesting to see a packaging that's so plain. Usually with watercolor palettes, it's either all the colors are really bright or all the colors are really dark. But this one seems to have a nice mixture of both. So that's fun. All right, all right. Oh my God, there's a lot of stuff in this one. <laughs> That other one just had three, but look at all the stuff in this. First thing that's calling to me are these neon pigments. First of all, look how bright these are. These are like devastatingly bright. So these little things are pure pigment. According to the instructions, you can mix it with water, acrylic medium, or linseed oil to basically create whatever kind of paint that you wanna create. These are very, very specific products. And I personally don't know that many artists who make their own paints. So I feel like only a very small percentage of artists would be wanting to use this. But yeah, still pretty cool. Next up we have, oh, this is so cool. Okay, this is Culture Hustle's Diamond Dust. And it's basically glitter that's made from glass. And according to the website, what makes this Diamond Dust special is that it's unlike any other glitter that's on the market right now. And it's called diamond dust because it obviously looks like little millions of tiny pieces of diamonds. It's made with the highest grade glass possible coming in at a 99.8% clarity. In fact, the only other place that this is available is actually through construction companies. They usually use these glass flakes to reinforce concrete for building coatings. And I'm not gonna lie, once I found out that this is pure glass, I'm terrified to use this because knowing me, I'm gonna accidentally inhale it. It's gonna go in my eye. Something bad is gonna happen whenever I use this. I just know it. <gasps> oh, uh oh, I was just telling you guys that I'm clumsy. I spill things and then I literally just spilt my cup all over my room. All right, next up we have 
the world's gold is gold, which I've already done an entire review on this alone. So basically the story behind this one is that there was a gold color called quadrachrone gold. And when this pigment was discontinued, the paint company Daniel Smith bought up the entire stock until Culture Hustle created this dupe. It literally looks just like liquid gold. It's very metallic. And for one ounce of this, it'll cost you 16 bucks. Uh, to complement the gold, we have the world's silverest silver. The pigment inside of this is incredibly, incredibly fine. So that way it basically replicates the look of actual silver. And any item that you paint with this stuff, it basically turns it into an item that looks like it's made out of metal. These both retail for $15.99 each and they're kind of a pair. Uh, next up we have some more pigments, but these aren't regular pigments. These are the highest grade glow-in-the-dark pigments. So it's been charging for a little bit, so let's see. Oh, I haven't even brought it in the room. It's already glowing. All right, so I'm going to turn off the light in three, two, one. <gasps> oh my god. Look at it. It's like a light. It looks like a little lantern or something. Look, you can see all of my skincare. Wow. That's crazy, crazy bright. Oh my God. These are so cool. I can't wait to use these. Uh, this next one is for the boys with the booming system. Top down AC with the cooling system. This is the acrylic super base. And basically this is a clear acrylic that you can mix with any of the powders that I just showed you. And it basically turns it into an acrylic paint. They were so smart to put this in the kit because I don't think a lot of people have the stuff to make their own paint. So I'm really glad it came with this. Um, next up we have an item that I have no idea what this is. Like I saw it on the listing, but I don't know what it is. Uh, let's see. This is Culture Hustle's Ice. This is the world's most iciest blue high quality paint. This is one of my favorite colors ever. It's an incredibly icy chrome reflective blue and it's just so, so gorgeous. And it's way more reflective than the gold and the silver. Oh my God, apparently all profits from this set have been given to families in our community so they can have food, fuel, and toys for Christmas. Oh my God, I didn't know that. That just takes it to the next level. And the bonus stuff came with some really cool stickers, a bonus notebook for notes. <laughs> Looks like we have a brand new color by them. This is Stuart Simple's Hot, which is an insanely hot pink color. Some really hot red pigments. And it looks like a bunch of glitter that spilled all over the place. Ugh. So that's nice. I didn't realize how much like extra stuff we got. And for the grand finale, we have this final last box. Oh my God, it's wet. And you know why it's wet? Because I spilled that drink earlier all over the place and some of the droplets like spilled into the box. But yeah, this first one is, I don't know, it just a stick on it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is so cool. So basically how you use this is that you paint it on your surface, you let it dry, and once it's dry, you get the pigments. And basically anywhere where you put this stuff, the pigments will full 100% go on top of this. Instead of having to mix it with a paint base or acrylic or linseed oil, with this stuff, you can completely bypass all of that and just use this and the powder and that's it. So do you guys remember at the very start of this video, whenever I showed you guys the giant white paint? Well, apparently this kit also comes with a giant tub of the blackest paint in existence. I think it's almost universally agreed that the blackest paint in the world is just incredible. But the problem is, is that this black paint, if you don't use it within like a month or two, it's completely useless. I haven't used this one in quite a while. And as you can see, it just doesn't do what it's supposed to do. On top of that, it's kind of annoying because you can't mix this paint with any other paints because it'll lose that matte velvety texture that it has that makes it so dark. I hardly ever use the one that's this small. I have no idea what I'm going to do with one liter of this black paint. Okay. So now this brings us to the final item, which I'm so excited because I have no idea what this is. This one I think is a brand new one. I don't know what this is. It just has phase on the top. This is color changing paint. 
So according to directions, you just mix these two together. You add a little bit of heat to it and apparently it changes colors. So here it is, as you can see, it's kind of like a dark purple color. And I'm gonna put my hair dryer on it and we'll see if it changes colors. <gasps> Whoa, look, it's already going back to purple. Oh, that is crazy. Look, look how fast it's going back to purple. Wow, that's out of this world. This is phenomenal. Okay, so I did the math and if you were to buy everything individually, the total price would come out to around $664, which comes around to about $110 in savings which I think is worth it. As far as the artwork goes for this, I feel like it's gonna be kind of tough to create something that I normally would create because as you guys know, traditionally when I do artwork, it's very realistic, it's very blended. All the art supplies that I unboxed are pretty much the complete opposite of what I normally do. So I feel like I have my work cut out for me. There you guys go. That's what a $550 art supply box looks like. Do I think it was worth it? Yes. I think it was worth every single penny, especially the color changing paint. Oh, that stuff is so cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you guys had amazing holidays and I will see you guys next video. Bye.